We are calling the man who is saved in my phone as Kamui! Hi, Jack. Can you ask Kamui how close he thinks Kato are to their first points of the season? Who's your closest friend in the paddock? Are you already in discussions for next season? It's my most prized possession. Hello, how's it going? Welcome to another F1 to 1. Uh, not from the jungle, believe it or not, uh, this bamboo is in my garden. It is a beautiful sunny day, but I'm sheltering under here so that I don't get sunburnt. And today I'm resting the camera on this, my very own bamzuki brick. I thought you'd quite like that little throw, but listen, sorry about the planes if you hear them, but I live in South West London and they're flying into Heathrow, so we get them all the time. Uh, right, time for this week's F1 to 1 and I'm ringing my good friend, Kamui Kobayashi, Hungarian Grand Prix, beautiful, wonderful circuit. I used to love, love covering that race for the BBC. Will Kamui answer the phone? That is the question. This could be the shortest F1 to one ever. We try again in a moment. Don't go anywhere. Let's try again. We are calling the man who is saved in my phone as Kamui! Hi, Jack. Hey, Kamui, how are you? Very good, very good. Thank Excellent. You? Yeah, very good, thank you very much. Listen, it's even hotter yeah. here in England at the moment than it is out there in Hungary. It's boiling here. Yeah, I mean, definitely here. The nice weather, but amazing. It's too hot, actually, but I think weekend looks as a quite, uh, you know, wetty, maybe. So, let's see. Good luck this weekend. Listen, it's Thursday afternoon. Yeah. I'm, I'm ringing you from home. Give me an idea of what goes on in your world on a Thursday at a, at a Grand Prix track. Well, I mean, so far, I think uh, quite quiet. But, uh, you know, I think just before summer holiday, so everybody, uh, I see some smiling face, which is good. So the last race before the summer holiday is a bit like the last day at school before the summer holiday. Everyone's having fun, right? A bit of a, bit of a bounce in yeah. your step. Exactly. All right, well, listen, I've got loads of questions here from Formula One fans, so I'm going to fly through a few of them, if you don't mind. Um, as ever, as ever, you're very popular. Uh, so the first one comes from Josh Fraser on Twitter. He says, uh, Kamui, do you have any superstitions? What is that? Do you have any, any special things that you do to bring you luck? Uh, not really. I just uh, jump in the car from the left side, that's it. But uh, nothing special for myself. All right, always get in the car from the left-hand side, though. Yeah, exactly. Okay, also on Twitter, SC Sutton one Can you ask Kamui how close he thinks Caterham are to their first points of the season? It's quite tough, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely is tough, but uh, absolutely, I think uh, our target is to, to fight with Malaysia. I think this is the only chance for the moment, because we don't have any, you know, adaptive stuff in this Grand Prix, so I mean, this is, uh, I think, a realistic uh, chance for us. Okay, and also on a similar thing, Josh um, on Facebook says, how difficult has he found his return this season? You know, Formula One, the driver's ability is so restricted by the quality of the car, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, my, myself, you know, I think uh, not really this advantage breaking the last one year to GT. It was, I think, good experience myself. And back to Formula One, straight away I saw the car is good. And, uh, Myself, I'm a person ready for the race, so I'm very happy returning, and even I feel more confident for this year. So, yeah, I think for myself, I'm very good to return like this. Good. I'm glad you're back. I'm glad you're feeling confident. Ertel on Facebook asks, who's your closest friend in the paddock? Uh, well, it's not much in this driver. Uh, I have many friends here, actually. I mean, I used to work with uh, Stephen Barber. I think I know a lot of nice guy around on track but uh, you know I think on the driver I don't need to be a really good friend uh, we're lacking here and fighting on the track so yeah maybe during the party maybe it's a bit different but uh, you know on the track it's not really a lot of fun yeah who's who's the best driver to have a party with I always quite enjoyed going out for a drink with Jensen Button <laughs> yeah I mean Jensen's pretty good I mean I haven't seen him a couple of times but uh, I think uh, everyone likes party and especially I think uh you know, I think end of this week, I mean, Sunday night should be, I think, a lot of party because uh, just before summer holiday. So, yeah, I think uh, quite nice for me. Good. Enjoy yourself on Sunday night. Um, Mark <laughs> underscore Jagon on Twitter. Who's the greatest driver of all time in Kamui's opinion? All the time. Yeah, since forever. Uh, uh, I think for sure that Senna was uh, the one who I think best one. And Senna. Okay, have you had any talks with any other teams for a seat for next year? That comes from Jane on Facebook. Are you already in discussions for next season? 
Yeah, I mean, for the, for the moment, I don't have any next year's contract, so, you know, I, I need to look into that already. And, uh, of course, if I have opportunity, I have to take it, and uh, I'm very happy uh, to say, you know, I think to try to find the seat, and uh, I think uh, this is ongoing, but uh, still nothing to, to announce. Okay, wonderful. And uh, finally, also on Facebook, Charlotte says, what's your opinion on double points for next season? Or for the last race of this uh, season? Uh, double points? Yeah, what do you think? Huh. You know, I think it depends the year for me. I mean, last, last year could be maybe nice, but uh, I mean, this year, the point is, I think, quite close to everybody. And especially, I think, both Mercedes, is, uh, it, it looks... You know, it's very competitive, both car and the same level. And uh, maybe for this year, we don't need a match on double points. So, yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Well, just imagine, Kamui, if something happened in that race and you won it and you got 50 <laughs> points, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just mega. <laughs> yeah, it would be mega. It would be mega. Yeah. Listen, do you know what? Last season, I missed you in Formula One. I'm so glad you're back. And I think it was in. I think it was special, you know, the amount of effort that people went to to help raise funds for you to return to motor racing, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. But, you know, I think this time Formula One is always, you know, talking about the money stuff. But, you know, I think still this is dream my job. I've uh, been back in Formula One, that's the one of the greatest stuff. And, uh, you know, I think to back in Formula One is not always easy. But uh, I got this opportunity and still I'm in the, in the Formula One. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. But uh, the, my role is definitely to win the race one day. So, you know, try to focus and try to build myself up. And, uh, yeah. Good man. Good man. Well, listen, the most popular thing that happened online was people sending you best wishes for this weekend, wishing you luck for the race. So carry that with you into the Grand Prix in Hockenheim. Listen, lovely to chat to you, mate. Um, I miss you not doing Formula One, but um, I'm sunbathing at home, so don't feel too sorry for me. And I'll see you soon. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you very much. Cheers, Kamui. Take care, pal. Yes, bye. Bye. Brilliant. What a lovely guy. Uh, he's got a very strong Japanese accent, obviously, but I hope you picked up on all that, you know, uh, just to go through some of the stuff. Ayrton Senna, greatest driver, superstitions, climbs in on the left-hand side. It's, it's obviously very tough for him at the moment, though, isn't it, a catering? But I think, you know, the aim for him was just to be in Formula One. You know, when you're in F1, you never know what opportunities are going to come your way. Um, and it also means that he has lots of followers on Twitter and he can tweet ludicrous photos such as that. It looks like a lawnmower with a huge engine. Um... If I had time, I would have asked him about that. But that is an insight into the wild mind of Kamui Kobayashi. And I hope you enjoyed this week's F1 to 1. It's lovely just to give these guys a ring and see how they're feeling ahead of the Grand Prix. Uh, don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel here on, uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can also add your comments as well. I love having a look through and reading your comments. I always make sure I do that. So please, after you've watched this, uh, leave a little comment. And um, I shall be back with another F1 to 1, with another star of the sport before too long. But for now, I shall leave you with a gorgeous view of a real-life... Bamzuki Brick from Children's BBC circa mm, about 2004. It's my most prized possession. What the hell? How can you lose motivation? How can you, know, how can you lose the drive? Was that alright? Absolutely perfect. Oh, there. great. <laughs> Fancy a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, you're my man.